A Title IX investigation report looking into how staff at Amherst Pelham Regional Public Schools handled reported LGBTQ plus bullying has been released. And 22 News reporter Christina DeMores joins us live here in studio tonight with what we know so far. Ciara and Nick, we also know that three school employees were put on leave when this investigation launched earlier this year. After months of controversy, a superintendent and multiple school committee members stepping down, as well as school staff being placed on leave, a Title IX investigation on Amherst Pelham Regional Public Schools has been released to the public. The report included the investigation of counselors from the school district, Tanya Cabrera, Hector Santos, and Delinda Dykes, for alleged anti-LGBTQ behavior against students. It concluded there was insufficient credible evidence against Cabrera. However, in two separate reports, it determines credible evidence does exist to support allegations against Santos and Dykes for misgendering students. School department administrators, including former Superintendent Michael Morris and Assistant Superintendent Doreen Cunningham, were also investigated for an action to these claims. The report, determining that the school system failed to take effective action in response to concerns of offensive conduct by staff toward LGBTQ plus students, citing, quote, sufficient credible evidence exists to support the allegation that ARPS officials failed to appropriately respond to and effectively address allegations of harassment and misconduct by staff towards students students based on sexual orientation, gender identity, and gender expression. The investigation was conducted by attorney Ed Mitnick of Just Training Solutions, LLC, out of Springfield and was divided into five reports with redacted information. 22 News has reached out to the interim superintendent as well as the chairs of the district's school committees. We will have their response once we hear back from them. And we also have this report in full on our website, WWLP.com. Working for you tonight, Christina Moore's 22 News.